Hi Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. My twin sister and I are twin oracles here on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by and for checking us out. We are here to do your mid-March tarot reading. However, it's our intuition, sorry, we follow our intuition and it's also our intention that whenever this video finds you, whether it be today, tomorrow, a year from now, it doesn't matter, we intend that when this video knocks on your door, that's when it will most resonate with you, okay? So have faith and trust in the timing. With that being said, it is also a general reading, so please do accept and embrace, welcome in the messages that do resonate for you on a personal level, leave what does not. And if you hear me say he, she, him, her, it, they, etc., please reverse the roles if and wherever need be, okay? Now, we will be working with the following two decks created by Christopher Lee. We have the Sanctus Concordia Tarot deck and the Terrestrial Fauna Oracle deck. If you're interested in purchasing either of these decks or any of Christopher Lee's decks, there's a link down below where you can save 10% if you're interested in doing so. This is a great deck because it does follow Rider weight. So check it out if you feel that resonates with you. Now, we're gonna dive right in and see what is going on. Now, Pisces, we do ask that you always follow your intuition first and foremost. Um, if you're interested in pulling cards for yourself, that's always a great idea as well, okay? So, God, we thank you for this opportunity to be together here today. We ask that you come through clearly and intuitively, strongly. What does Pisces need to know? What will they be going through? What, do, what are the messages that Pisces need to hear? God, we're truly grateful and thankful for all the blessings that you bestow upon us on a regular basis and on a daily basis, big and small. We are grateful for it all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what is going on, Pisces. What is going on with Pisces? What is going on with Pisces? What is going on with Pisces? All right, that's uh, not looking. Okay, so let's just, let's talk about it. You begin your reading with the Ten of Swords, okay, Pisces? So something has ended, something has expired, okay? Um, this could be anything from, you know, a divorce, a separation, an ending of a friendship, an ending of a relationship. Um, it could be a betrayal, a stab in the back. This can be the end of a job, the end of a career, moving into a new business opportunity. Um, it could be the end of living where you live. There's some kind of ending here and, you know, you've taken it quite hard and personal and, you know, it hasn't been easy for you, okay? There's some kind of ending here. Now, the thing to be said here with this Ten of Swords Pisces is that this always does welcome in and herald in some sort of new beginning here for you, okay? So let's take a peek and, and see what that is. Oh, Pisces, I'm sorry to hear that. Comment down below, let us know what is it that has ended for you or is ending for you. My twin and I, we read all of your comments and we love to respond back together to each and every one of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The next card out is the Emperor. Um, the Emperor could represent a leader, so it could represent a boss perhaps. Um, it, it could represent a partner, okay, so a significant other. The emperor can also represent a father, okay? So take it how that resonates for you. Is this your father? Is this a an employer, a former employer? Um, you know, the thing with the emperor is that, you know, sometimes it could be someone that, um, you know, could be overbearing or they could be controlling. Um, sometimes they can represent someone who has narcissistic tendencies. Now it doesn't have to be, this emperor doesn't have to be like that type of a person, but the reason why um, I'm mentioning that is because, you know, it came out alongside of the Ten of Swords here, okay? So, you know, I'm just dishing out some, some different scenarios that this could be here, okay? But because it's with this Ten of Swords, it's not usually an easy energy to deal with, okay? To say the least here. Some of you 
could have had a falling out with a parent, maybe an argument, maybe it was a heated argument, um, you know, words were exchanged quickly without perhaps thinking about things. Um, you know, it feels like you or someone else, um, you're going through a, a difficult time here and, you know, perhaps you're lashing out, um, you know, saying things that are rude or things rolling off your tongue quickly and not filtering. So it's either you or someone else that could be in that energy um, doing that in your life right now. Let's see what else we have here. What else is going on with Pisces? What is going on with Pisces? So next you have the Fool. Okay, so I like this energy. The Fool represents, you know, taking that leap of faith, um, you know, going into the, the unknown, wildly um, jumping, you know, now, the, the caution with the fool is to make sure that you do your research, cross your T's, dot all your I's. Um, you know, we, it's okay to take a leap of faith if there's not too much at risk here. But if there's a lot at risk, you want to make sure that you do your due diligence. But this feels to me, it's like, you know, you're done with the old, okay? Um, you know, however this emperor appears for you in your life, you know, you're, you're just done with it. You want to take control of your life. This can represent you as well, okay? It could represent you wanting to take control of your life, taking matters in your own hands. Um, it could be you wanting to be a leader in some way, shape, or form, um, and wanting to start new, wanting to start fresh. This is taking that leap of faith. Um, you know, jumping before you think. It, it could represent, you know, the innocence of a child and, you know, the awe and the, the, you know, the sky's the limit, the energy of I can do this, anything is possible, I want to do something new here. So I really like this energy for you. Again, you know, when, when I was talking about this Ten of Swords can be difficult, it can be overbearing, it can be hard to go through, but it does herald in new beginnings for you. Well, here you have a beautiful new beginning here. So, you know, whatever this is or whatever this was, this Ten of Swords, it's something that was meant to happen, okay? It, it went down the way it was supposed to go down, um, and it, it went down in order to bring you onto a higher ground into a better position in life, okay? And I can see that clearly here with this Fool card. What do we have for Pisces? You know, this emperor can also represent you wanting to build yourself up from the bottom up, you know, um, building your empire, right? Perhaps whatever ended here perhaps you thought that it was something that was solid stable and secure and it turns out that it wasn't that there is something better out there for you and that's what you're willing to venture out to find here with the fool card all right next you have the five of cups so the five of cups can talk about past hurts past pains regrets okay um you know, there could be an energy here where you're being asked to move on from past hurts, past pain, um, past regrets. Um, don't let things from the past burden you to the point where you can't move on, where you can't take that leap of faith, where you can't, you know, jump into that new beginning, okay? There could be someone in your life here that I'm picking up here, someone in your past, perhaps in your childhood, growing up, um, you know, someone that would make you feel like you can't do what you wanna do, someone that make you feel that you can't succeed on your own, you can't rise above, you know, someone that would make you feel that like, you know, you need me, or you need this, or you need that, and you can't do this, and you can't do that. Like, there's just something here that I'm feeling from your past that has you down. It gets you down. This person from your past gets you down. And, you know, the sad thing here is that you've embraced their thought patterns, 
and their beliefs you've made basically you've made their beliefs as your own beliefs and this is holding you back in life so you're being asked to process things of your past it could be from a parent a mother or a father or even a sibling you know there's something here from your past that you know you want to venture out and you want to move on but it's like this past blocks you and says yeah but who am i i'm not going to succeed i don't have what it takes you know there's some kind of limiting belief system from when you were a child that you're holding on to and you just want to make sure that you heal that so it doesn't hold you back from where you want to go and what you want to do so you have the queen of pentacles here pisces and you know this is an energy of you do have what it takes you can provide for yourself in a tangible way in a beneficial way in a materialistic way you can take care of yourself this can also represent a mother, perhaps a mom or a dad, as I mentioned earlier, could have told you that, you know, you weren't going to make it in life. For example, perhaps your mom is a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, doesn't have to be, um, but I'm picking up that energy quite strong here. So, you know, if your mom or someone or your sibling or family or friend or someone from childhood told you that you couldn't succeed, you know, it is time to heal from that. That's hurtful, that's painful, there's trauma there, right? There's attachments to those truths from that person that you trusted so dearly to, to tell the truth to you, right? So if someone's telling you, you know, you can't make it on your own, you trust that person because they, they're your loved one, right? So there's just something here to heal, Pisces. We'll get one more card. You know, and some of you are wanting to venture out and to make something of yourself here with this Queen of Pentacles. You know, and you do have the Five of Swords, which is another five. You have five, five here. You know, the fives are difficult energies, right? They represent conflict. So it's like you're conflicted at this stage of the game, okay? That's very clear, Pisces, you're, you're conflicted, okay? And you, you can be, and maybe you already are or will be, processing some of this conflict here this ending this you know mental conflict in some way shape or form here you're very burdened here by the mind and by perhaps other people's thoughts mother father friend sibling um co-worker uh, boss you know however this pans out for you but you know with the five of cups and the five of swords there's definitely a conflict here you're conflicted um you know the five of swords can represent, you know, winning at all costs, right? So there could be someone in your life or in your past, there could have been someone that tried to, um, not tried to, but, and, you know, maybe they didn't mean to be like this, but, you know, they would say things to you to hurt you and to weaken you. They would really get into your mind. You know, this is an energy of manipulation. This is an energy of, you know, cutting with like words and intentionally saying things that is hurtful to someone, right? So, you know, here you are, you're trying to process these, you know, words and these emotions of your past here, um, you know, and, and what's happened is there was some kind of ending Pisces, some kind of ending, something has ended in your life or will be ending um, you know, or a betrayal of some sort, something happened, there's a change in your life here with this Ten of Swords. And for example, let's say it's, you know, losing your job, for instance, okay? Well, what this is here, it's not just the fact of losing your job, it's much deeper than that. This experience really cuts you deep because for instance there could have been someone in your life like a capricorn male or female um, as a child in your childhood that would say to you you know you can't make it on your own um you know you you can't do this you can't do that and you know being burdened by this person's beliefs that then became your own beliefs and your own emotions so this ending wasn't just an ending this ending is a trigger the catalyst that brought you right back to childhood and that's what's getting you here that's what's getting your emotions and that's what's getting your mind and you're on repeat trying to process you know you know that person was right that person was right i can't make it on my own and what am i thinking and who do i think i am and i can't do anything in life and right it's like you're in your mind and in your emotions running on autopilot the messages that this person would tell you growing up or even now however however this resonates 
let's pull you know and it's like here you are like you want to go on a new beginning a new journey and you want to say yes i can do this i i got this i can fend for myself i can provide for myself and you you want to with every cell in your body and every being in your soul um you know but but then it's like there's a message that says, well, yeah, you're just a fool, right? Like you're being foolish or you're a fool. There's something of that nature going on here, okay? So I hope I made that message clear. Um, comment down below if this is resonating with you. You know, how does this look for you in your life? Let us know. Uh, we are going to jump in and pull a card from the Terrestrial Fauna Oracle deck. And I will read the card from the Terrestrial Fauna Oracle Deck Companion Booklet. So, God, what does Pisces need to hear and know? What does Pisces need to hear and know? What is the most important message? Thank you for the messages thus far. Okay, so we have the toucan. Some of you could be dealing with someone named Sam. All right. I'm getting like a parrot energy as well. You know, someone that likes to boast. And I'm not really picking up you, maybe perhaps this person or this person from childhood. It could be a father and it could be a mother. You know, you could be you could have received it from two different angles, one in a different way and the other one in another way. Um, but let's see. Let's see what the Tucan has to say. All right, so there's the toucan. Sorry, uh, if you'd like, you can pause and read for yourself or I can read it to you. All right, the toucan. The vibrant toucan, adorned with its striking beak and remarkable appearance, invites you to fully embrace your own uniqueness and radiate your authentic self to the world. Similar to the toucan's grateful flight through the canopy, rise above challenges and rise above obstacles with a mixture of grace and resilience. Cultivate a spirit of adaptability and flexibility, recognizing your innate ability to navigate the intricate paths of life. You can do it. The toucan embodies the essence of communication and self-expression. Choose your words thoughtfully. Conveying your thoughts and emotions, your thoughts and your emotions with clarity and honesty. Build deeper connections and bridge gaps with others through the power of genuine communication. With its sharp eyesight, the toucan emphasizes the importance of adopting a fresh perspective. Step back, observe, and explore alternative viewpoints. Open your mind to new ideas and new possibilities, allowing yourself to see the world from various angles and broaden your horizons. Remember that the toucan symbolizes the celebration of individuality, resilience, effective communication, embracing new outlooks, and finding joy in life's moments. It encourages you to value your uniqueness, face challenges with grace, express yourself authentically, seek diverse viewpoints, and find delight in your journey. So, you know, what I want to say here is, yes, something ended. There was a change in your life. Okay, you're now looking to, um, you know, create something for yourself, build something for yourself, you know, explore what life has to offer, explore new beginnings and grandeur and greatness. Um, you're being asked to, you know, think about your emotions, process your thoughts clearly, because as the toucan said, um, and I mentioned that, you know, there could be words spoken without thinking first so you know either you're hurting someone verbally or someone else is hurting you verbally um so try to like you know feel what your emotions are think about them and then speak and communicate effectively here um but nonetheless you know have faith in yourself this is a new beginning that you're embarking on here 
the sky is the limit. Anything is possible. Everything is possible in a good way. So, you know, if there was someone or is someone that's, you know, a, a Debbie Downer or naysayer that's trying to take you off your course and, you know, take courage away from you, stand tall and reaffirm that, yes, you do have this, you got this, and you can and you will succeed. Okay, Pisces? This was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed delivering it. Um, comment down below and let me know how this resonated with you in your life. What is this ending and what is this new beginning that you're wanting to embark on here? Um, who are these people that perhaps are, you know, bringing you down ever so slightly or in a large way? Let us know. Um, please be sure to hit that like button on your way out. It doesn't cost you anything. It makes us feel great and it, it we appreciate it. It helps us grow. So thank you, thank you, thank you for hitting that like button on your way out. We're truly grateful for the energy of exchange. Be sure to subscribe to Twin Oracles and also hit that notification bell. That way you don't lose our channel and you're advised of all of our upcoming uploads. We love you. Happy birthday to you, Pisces. If you have a birthday that is coming up or that passed, we wish you nothing but the best. Happiness, joy, celebratory moments, and love and prosperity and abundance and fertility in all ways for you in which you desire them to come. All the best. Until the next time. Bye, Pisces. Bye for now. Mwah.